Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, it's open air. I'm outside in France and because it's summer, we're going to be talking sandwiches and really the free classic French sandwiches. They're very simple, but you need to know how to make them. So first off, we're going to talk about the ingredients. So we're going to take very simple stuff, dry sausage. We get some ham, gherkin, a very good like countryside style pate and how famous unsalted butter. It's a French butter that's delicious. The bread, of course, is going to be the one thing we're going to be talking about first. So this is the French baguette. A lot of people think it's a huge bread, it's all kinds of bread, this is it. The size of the bread is very important because as you can see here, you can hold it very easily in your hand. You can hold it with one hand and you can eat it like that. It has to be a whole meal. So we're going to use half of a baguette to make a sandwich. The most important when you buy it, you need to have that nice color and everything, but the crunch, I don't know if you can hear, put the microphone in. Yeah. That is the crunch of the baguette. So this is the bread, and now we're going to do a demonstration on how to make the three classic sandwiches. All right, so the first sandwich we're going to see is the typical ham sandwich, which is called in French the jambon beurre sandwich. So the first thing you need to know is that when you take your baguette, uh, it has to be open, sliced open like that, and you see it's nice and fresh, but it's not disjointed okay so it's still in one piece and the reason for that is because you have to hold your baguette together like that and then you take your butter this is a special wooden uh, knife made of an olive tree and you try your best to really just put a little bit of butter on there not too much not too little the next step once you got the butter you take your ham so this is a very good quality farmhouse and bang you put your ham in there, you can tuck it in, and then you close your sandwich. And as you can see here, it kind of just fits in. And you can hold it like that. And this is the purpose of the French sandwich. You have to hold it and be able to eat it with one hand very easily. And that's a meal. This is the classic jambon beurre sandwich from France. The next sandwich is called the saucisson beurre. It's actually a sandwich made of a uh, cured dry sausage, which is called saucisson in France, and it's made of pure pork, pork fat, some meats, and you see these little peppercorns. It's a very delicious uh, piece of meat. So the way you make the sandwich, same thing. Uh, you're gonna hold again the baguette, or try to. Uh, take the butter, and as always, uh, the reason why I'm using a wooden knife is because it doesn't give you any taste in the butter. When you're done, extremely simple, you're gonna take your sausage and bit by bit up to you you put slices after slices after slices bang you don't want to overdo it and then you close it again look at this very nice very simple and you've got your saucisson sandwich sandwich saucisson beurre the last sandwich we're gonna see is the pâté cornichon which is a simple as you can see here, it's a countryside pâté it's going to be laid out on the baguette with a gherkin. Now, it's important to note that this sandwich does not have any butter because it contains, as you can see here, there's a lot of fat mixed with the meat. So if I look at here, look at this. This is like a piece of meat. This is a piece of meat. It's all pork meat. And I bought this in a very, very well-known charcuterie that makes the pâté themselves. So how to make it? Same thing. It's a bit more tricky for this one. So I'm going to try to open my baguette a bit more and I'm going to grab, try to grab some of the pâté and we're going to put three pieces in there. Okay, one, second one, sorry about the mess. And if you can, you know what, I'm going to cut a little bit and just add that little corner here with the pâté. So one of the myths that we have a lot of time with these sandwiches, people tend to spread the pâté all over the place and this is not the case here because when you're going to compress your sandwich it's going to fill the holes and this is where the gherkins comes into play you put your gherkins usually on top of the pâté because it sticks in the pâté so it does not slip away when you eat it and also it can really go inside oops sorry it goes inside the pâté like that so when that's done and you press everything this is what's all happening. Look at that. You see these layers? Bang. 
the fat fills the hole, the whole sandwich is soft, it's tender, and it's ready to be eaten. So let's put this away. And this is our last sandwich, pâté cornichon, which is the countryside pâté with gherkins. And that's it guys, these are the three sandwiches, uh, the most classic ones we've got in France. You got the pâté with the gherkins, you got the butter and dry sausage, and the last one, the ham and butter sandwich. Of course, you always need a little bit of wine eh, uh, when you eat, but how do you eat these things? Basically in France, it's very simple. You take a sandwich and don't be scared sometimes to use both of your hands. A little bite. Mm. You chew and then you finish on this. Cheers.